Well, this morning, the city of Moss Point and the Jackson County Chamber of Commerce discussing its big I-10 corridor project. Harper Robinson gives us a highly anticipated update. Six to eight years. That's how long this project will take before it even breaks ground. The reason the one north of 10 is going to be long is because we got all the infrastructure that we got to put in because it has not been developed before. So that's going to take a little longer. Neil Schaefer is the engineering firm heading up the project. Representatives say right now the project is in its planning and environmental linkage study phase. Funding has only been secured for part of it. The part that I would anticipate construction on the, the pieces that are under design will be underway within the next year. The city currently holds funding from the Gulf Coast Restoration Fund and the Restore Act, administered through the state's Department of Environmental Quality. That's roughly about $40 million of, uh, of, of projects, but the city secured roughly about half of that. The beginning stages of the project secured through the Restoration Fund and Restore Act will install roundabouts, asphalt, sidewalks, accommodate for truck movements, and install new utilities and drainage. The you know, school system will increase, the value, the quality of the education will increase because people come from all over the country. You need housing, you need better streets and roads, you need more recreation, better be for our public safety. Everything will improve when economic development starts going. Construction for phase one is set to begin this August. In Moss Point, Harper Robinson, WLOX News Now.